my name is uh, Henry Emfrey, and this is a game development tutorial that teaches how to create uh, animations in Play Canvas. You know, instead of just having a cube move around, animations are very important. Animations are what makes a game more immersive. You know, it's important to you know give the appearance of let's say a character walking around. You know, actually moving their arms and legs or give the appearance of a character attacking someone or uh, or whatever I mean imagine Mario not having the appearance of uh, jumping or running or whatever you know that would make a dull game and I feel that game tutorial sets are incomplete if they don't teach animations whether it's a tutorial regarding how to create a game in the game engine or a game tutorial about how to um, uh, make a game using a programming language. So, so that's very important. I like to make my characters inside of a uh, of an online program called Autodesk Character Generator. It's a it's an online program that allows you to make your characters inside of your browser, uh, just like kind of like a you know Play Canvas. You know, you get to make your games. All in your browser. Well, uh, on Autodesk Character Creator, you get to um, make your character all in your browsers. You know, I and you know it. You know, I tend to like those um, web browser uh, programs because they're really neat and it, um, it makes it so I, I don't have to carry my computer around. Uh, I can just go anywhere where there's an internet connection and just uh, get to work. Um, you know, some people like also like the program called uh, Make Human, and there's also another program called Adobe Fuse. Uh, those two programs are also free. Um, it's just whatever your preference is. Some people like to construct their own characters in a program called maybe Blender uh, or, or Wings 3D. For the sake of uh, keeping this video as uh, short as possible. Uh, I won't go into too much uh, details about the different programs. Uh, there are all kinds of tutorials uh, throughout the web that showed you how to uh, make your character in one of those programs, whether it's Blender, uh, Wings 3D, and they also show you how to rig those characters uh, uh, to have them animated. But uh, I'm going to take the fast route and um, do my um, character generation in a, this program called Autodesk. In Autodesk Character Creator, it allows you to construct things like the face. For example, uh, over here on this right side, you have a, a, a list of options. Uh, let's say you want a character with a, maybe a bigger head, or or a character with a, a, a muscle head, or even a goofy-looking character. Well, in this program. All you gotta do is just um, pick uh, pick the character that you want. I'm gonna pick this goofy head here, and I'm just gonna drop and drag him there. And then I'm going to um, um, just uh, click this X here, right? Left click this X here, and then you'll see that. Um, after that, on this left side, your, uh, the character that you pick would manifest on this side. And then you will find the same thing works uh, if you want to choose the body type. You know, you just uh, click here. And uh, after that, it'll, uh, over here, it'll give you the uh, different options of what types of body that uh, you would like to have. So uh, if you uh, pick a body, uh, you can just... Um, uh, let's say this one, you can just uh, pick it up, drop and drag it, and then get rid of this one. And then over here, uh, you'll find that uh, the uh, body that you chose over here is uh, now manifesting uh, in this uh, panel right here. So uh, that's basically how the program works. So I mean, you can do the same thing with the eyes, same thing with the... Um, the hair. Uh, let's make him some new clothes. So you click here, and on this right side, you have uh, various options for clothes. 
right now I'm um, he he's wearing this um, this a sweater I guess that's a I don't know it's a girl sweater but whatever but uh, it, it, whenever you choose one you just uh, double click on um, the one that you uh, want when you see uh, when you see it says in use in this uh, left panel here you'll see that's what he's wearing and like I said you can do the uh, do the same thing uh, you can change your skin and it works the same way uh, uh, you have uh, various skin tones over here you can also choose whether you want them to be male or female and you have uh, various options, uh, you know, if you if you wanted the female character, you know, whether you can change the hair the same way, etc., uh, etc. Et so, so just play around with the program, and uh, you know, kind of see what you can come up with. Uh, it's, it's pretty uh, easy program to use, and um, and uh, and a lot of things, a lot of these different buttons work just work the same way. Uh, you know, it's just drop and drag, or sometimes you just gotta uh, double click on us, uh, what you want. So that's kind of how the program works. Um, that's just the basics. And then after you after you're done um, creating your character, uh, over here on this left side, in on the bottom, uh, bottom uh, right corner, just click finish. I'm not going to do that because I've already created create my character. So, so after you click the uh, finish and click the uh, OK box that appeared uh, in the in the box that appeared, um, then you then see this um, this uh, little box right here, which uh, has constructed your character. And when you're ready to download it, just click character uh, generated character. And then uh, click this uh, download button right here. And um, and I usually like to uh, to um, save uh, everything to my desktop. So um, you can just uh, and I, I I clicked on my uh, play canvas folder and um, just uh, after that I just uh, hit the save button. And it'll download a zip file. So uh, after you do that, um, you can just uh, you can go ahead and just uh, minimize this um, this program. So then, when you're uh, done with Autodesk uh, Character Generator, you then we then uh, are ready to pick up a program, uh, another online, a free online program called uh, Mixamo. Uh, Okay, so uh, when you get to the Mix Mixamo page, you're gonna see this screen right here, and then you just gotta set up your account, and then uh, after that, you uh, you know click uh, browse uh, animation, and you're gonna get the screen right here, and then so you just hit the upload button, you try to upload your character, click select character file. I you remember I saved my uh, the um, character that I uh, made in Autodesk to my desktop and uh, put it in my Play Canvas folder, that, which is also which is on my desktop. And then I have this um, you know Autodesk made me a zip file, so I just open the zip file up. And uh, Mixmo, I guess, brought the whole uh, the whole zip file on. So it says uh, your character is ready to use. So you click on uh, at at on the right on a, a right bottom corner. You click on. Uh, Make this my character, uh, current character. After you get a, a after you uh, upload your character now, you're gonna get a screen like this. And uh, when you get a screen like this, uh, click on uh, Find Animations.
you had to, you find this search bar up here. And then, so in the search bar, you just uh, kind of type in um, whichever type of animation uh, that you want. For now, let's um, uh, let's let's uh, work on trying to get a, uh, an idle animation. You know, an animation where uh, um, our character will just be um, sitting or not not doing anything, just standing there, maybe. Okay, so now uh, Mixamo has, um, you know, given us uh, this a uh, big list of different types of uh, idle animations that we can choose from. Hmm. Maybe we can choose this one. This this one looks pretty good. So whenever we uh, we're ready to choose, just click on it, and then on this right side, um, uh. Then on his right side, uh, Mixamo will uh, have uh, up, uh, loaded the uh, the idle anim the anim the animation that we chose for us. So then, if we like it, we just add, uh, click Add to Pack. So we. So now we got uh, one of our animations, one of our um, of the animations that we're going to use. So now, now, and you'll see um, that we have our idle animation right here. So that's one of the animations that we're going to use. So now that we have our idle animation, now we can choose our walking animation. So we go back over here to the left, and then in the search bar, we type in walking to find us a walking animation. Hit search. And then we just, um, just scroll down and find a walking animation that we like. Hmm, I like this one, uh, this particular one right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this one. And then after I clicked on this one, Mixco, Mixamo will give me a pre on the right, uh, Mixamo will give me a preview of my, uh, the walk animation that I selected. Now, one thing to remember when choosing a walking animation is it's important to, um, to click this box here uh, called in place um, so that uh, it, when you, we import this into the game uh, uh, mix, uh, 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 the game engine will know to um, keep our character uh, walking in place otherwise if we don't uh, check this box uh, it'll look weird uh, when we try to get our character to walk so it's important to check this box here um, when we're uh, looking for walking animation or running or flipping or anytime you see the character in Mixamo anytime you see the character uh, moving off screen uh, when you choose a walking or running or flipping animation you always want to uh, check this in place box that's the best way I can explain it so after you're done ch uh, uh, picking your walking animation all we do just like we did with the idol We just scroll down and then click Add to Pack. And then just like our idle animation, you will see this walking animation added to our list down here. So now we have two animations. We have our walking and then we have our idle. So that's enough animations that we're going to choose. Now we're going to uh, try to export these. So go ahead cl click on view download and after clicking view download you get this page where it says uh, you own this. Now on this page 
make sure that your walking animation is still uh, is still checked. You know, Mixamo tends to forget that you uh, chose uh, to have your animation in uh, to walk in place on this particular page. I don't know if that's an error or a bug or anything. But um, um, on this page, you want to check this in place box again. Okay, so that would ensure that the character will uh, stay in place when you try to use them in the game and, uh, and your animation won't look weird. So after that, on this left side, you have this button called Q Download. Click on that. And then um, you have this box that uh, appears, which uh, calls a down, called Download Settings. Uh, make sure uh, FBX is checked. I like to have my characters, when I download them, to uh, have um, 24 frames per second instead of 30. I mean, um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, that's just my preference. So after you got uh, 24 frames per second and FBX um, in these boxes, just um, on this right side, uh, you see T pose and not uh, and keyframe reduction. It would be none. So after that, I just uh, just click Q download. So then you'll be brought to this page right here. Um, you see your animation on this side. And you see the that it's download button on the right side. So go ahead and just click on download. And then um, in this download page, just go ahead uh, and just uh, hit hit save. I mean, you can rename this to maybe like a Henry Mixamo or something like that. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and rename this to Henry Mixamo. So that we know that we uh, made this in Mixamo. Uh, just as a reminder that our character is completed. So after that, so after you uh, rename this, just go ahead and click save, and it uh, it'll download to that uh, to the play canvas folder as we set up earlier. Okay, so now that we downloaded our character, um, we can go back to the desktop and um, go back into our Play Canvas folder. And then inside of uh, our Play, uh, Play Canvas folder, we can uh, click on this zip file here. And inside of our zip folder, we'll have uh, our two uh, our um, walking uh, our uh, animations that we build inside of Mixamo. So we just uh, click on all three of these, and then we uh, drag them all out and put it and drop them into our Play Canvas folder. And so our character is made, and so our character is made, uh, and uh, so next it, it's just a matter of importing them into the game.